Hi, my name is Scott Lawrence, and this is PAC IDE, a uh, integrated development environment for uh, developing uh, video arcade games or various things for ancient architectures. Um, what you can see up on the window so far, up on the right there, that's uh, JAPE, which is a Java port of MAME, um, which I pulled off the net and have hooked into. Um, in the uh, the top left, you can see the main interface window for Pack IDE with its little status bar and toolbar. Um, here is the one of the many ROM browsers. I can press this button here, and then we can look at the ROM of the game. So if I scroll down a bit, you can actually see here the text strings, for example. Like down here where it says credit, I can change that to, for example, yowza. And then press this little pink button here, which copies it back to the ROM. I can also do things like up here where it says high score, for example, I can put Scott Rules, spelled incorrectly, and press the button again. But if you notice, it doesn't appear there. Um, I'll show you some of these right now. I'll explain that in a moment. If I, I can pause the emulation, step through it one frame at a time, resume play, and this button here is the reset button. This is reset to play. This one is reset and then pause. Um, as you can see now, it says Scott Rules. That's because the, the actual program doesn't load that into the screen until uh, on specific occasions, and one of them is when you reset it. Uh, just for for grins here, see Midway Manufacturing Company, which I can find in here somewhere. Doo -doo -doo -doo, there it is. Um, I happen to know that General Computers, uh, the company that originally made Ms. Pac-Man, has their graphic in the ROM. If I do uh, PQRSTUV, let's do a space and then 19. Well, let's change the year 1995. Press this button, which will go back there. Let's reset it. And here it is starting up again. And you'll notice down here, Gen Comp 1995, which is the text that I just put in here. Just trust me that PQRSTUV is the graphic characters for that. Um, so, yeah, you can see that you can very easily um, uh, edit ROMs on the fly uh, using this tool. Um, you can also look at all of the various other. Um, ROM spaces of it. You notice here, General Computer Corporation. Hello, Nakamura. Uh, thought that was cute. Anyway, uh, you can also look at this system RAM browser. If I pull from the CPU into the editor, you can see that Yowza, open bracket, which is right there, the Scott Rules is down here, S C O T T R U L Z. And if you go up here, you can see the center of the game over, which is that text right there. Um, if we click on this little green clock icon, what that does is now every time it blinks, it's actually reloading this entire buffer. So you can see it says pinky right here, pinky. Um, and there's inky as it came on. Um, this also lets you do interesting things like uh, CPU into the editor, I can mess around with the, the system. Anyway, uh, so here it is updating system RAM, which you're going to see it update in just a moment. See, there's the map. And as Ms. Pac Man eats these, they're going to turn into little at signs. So there we go. Due to the way that the, the system RAM is actually laid out, um, these have like a right angle. 90 degree rotate to them, because the screen is actually drawn vertically in stripes, whereas here you're looking at it horizontally. So you see the game over vertically as opposed to horizontally. So that's basically uh, Pack IDE in its current state. Um, uh, I will be soon adding the ability to build ASM or Assembler into ROM right down here. 
and then instantly patch it, which is what these buttons will do. This is the build button, this is the build and run, and this is run. I'm probably going to actually change this to build and inject, because that's what it's actually going to be. And then you can just tag the reset button if it messes things up too much. It also means that you're able to, if you wanted to adjust the behavior of the ghosts, you can just go in and, and tweak the numbers in the ROM, press the uh, editor into CPU button, this little pink button here, and test out your changes immediately. You don't have to uh, build any ROMs in a hex editor and then restart MAME or anything like that, or use some sort of uh, ice on real hardware or anything like that. You can just do it all right here and it all just kind of works. Um, yeah. So that's uh, Pack IDE version 3, and uh, that's it. Have a good day.